The Devil's Tree is one sinister-looking tree, and according to the locals who told us of its legends, everyone in the vicinity of Bernard's Township seems to have a story about it. The tree is located on a secluded street just beyond a field of shrubbery, but no other trees of its size exist in the field. Many locals say that at one time a farmer killed his entire family, then went to the tree to hang himself. According to some, numerous suicides and murders occurred around the tree. Supposedly, anyone who tries to cut down the tree comes to an untimely death, as it is now cursed. It is said that the souls of those killed at the spot give the tree an unnatural warmth. Many claim that even in the dead of winter, no snow will fall around it. Right next to the Devil's Tree, there is a large rock. Some people call it the Heat Rock. They say that it is the gate to hell. There is a very evil truth behind the mythology of the Devil's Tree. At one time, Bernard's Township was one of the central headquarters of the KKK in New Jersey. They held many demonstrations in town and many meetings throughout the hills. They would lynch local African Americans to set an example, not only to others, but also as an example of their principles. Someone suggested we go to this tree. I had never heard of it, but I didn't really know what it could be so special about just some random tree. So I guess I was up for adventure. Uh, I was the designated driver, and I said it was okay, and we left and went to this tree. Uh, when we got to Bernard's Township, we were on the lookout for the creepy tree, but it turns out it's kind of, like, hidden, and some someone started yelling it, they were calling it stupid, and a lot of my friends wanted to turn back, but I thought we got this far, and it was kind of interesting just to see what it was. One of my friends, Joe, ran up the tree and started yelling at it. He called it dumb and cursed at the tree for a while. That was definitely the big mistake. I walked up the tree immediately, different, like, kind of cold, I, I got goosebumps all on my arms. We sat around for a while, and then one of my friends thought it'd be funny to pee on it, and that was a bad idea. We got bored, so we took a piece of bar from the tree and left. We didn't know that this was the biggest mistake of all. We walked back to the car and started driving away, when I noticed this, that this black truck had been kind of following us for a really long time after. We stepped on the gas pedal, well I did, and I tried to go faster. But uh, he just kind of followed us, and we kept going and going down this long road, and then eventually he just I looked back, and he disappeared. And then when I looked back in the road, we crashed right into a giant tree. I don't know. I, I'm lucky I'm okay, but I was absolutely terrified. None of us suffered anything more than a couple of injuries, but I think I'm probably scared for life, and I'm never going to go back. That tree is definitely haunted. In the next part of this documentary, we will share with you our Devil's Tree experience. After reading about the Devil's Tree online, we decided that the best time to go would be a Thursday night. Although we had no intention of staying long, our visit was cut short because one of my friends got a little too scared and made us return home. Here are some of the footage from our visit to the tree. Because it was too dark when we went to the tree the first time, we returned in the daylight to see what it looks like then. We found the heat rock and many other things discussed prior. The tree truly does give off an unholy and uncomfortable aura.
As we were walking back to our car, a pickup truck drove by. I couldn't quite make out the color, but you can decide for yourself because we caught this incident on film.